So one day I ran outside and saw a watermelon, so I ran to it. I picked it up and then ran it back to my house to open it up the only way I knew how, with rubber bands. I put some rubber bands on it and then I got a sheet for when it breaks. <laughs> and then I continued placing rubber bands on it with the help of my brother and it was starting to actually work. I kept doing it and then my brother drew a face on it. Henry! And then we just kept going until eventually we ran out of good rubber bands. So I was left with no choice but to run out in the rain, get in my car, and drive to Walmart. I got there, got my rubber bands, and then headed back home to get back to placing them. And eventually I could even see the indention in the watermelon. And then I actually predicted it. <laughs> it's gonna bust. When? Any second. Oh god. I just know it. Oh. Instant replay. <laughs> and it left this water rubber band. It's like for me to turn it into a rubber band ball part two. Part two, putting rubber bands on a watermelon. So it exploded and left us with this wad of rubber bands. Oh so I decided to turn it into a rubber band ball with all the leftover rubber bands. I began by making the wad a lot neater and I discovered this. There's watermelon inside this. So I did my best to get it out and then kept making it neater and then eventually started placing actual rubber bands on it. <laughs> and after a while, I took a break to go shoot some hoops with it. And let's just say it's not a basketball and I ended up breaking my backboard more than it was already. And then I waited until the next day at like 2 in the morning to start trying to place more rubber bands on it. I finished my pile and started placing another bag, and eventually I was down to the last one. And to be honest, it was a lot of time for very little difference, but I got another bag anyway and started placing them. I finished it up and I had a ball, I guess. Let me know if I should even keep doing this. Part 3 of making a rubber band ball. So this watermelon exploded and left us with this water rubber bands. So I turned it into this actual rubber band ball. And now we're here and I'm out of rubber bands. So I went to Walmart. I got some rubber bands and then went home and emptied them out and opened up a bag. And got busy. But after a little bit I left and then came back the next day. And finished off the pile. And then I dumped out two more bags and started placing them. But I got bored and ended up leaving and coming back again the next day to finish it all off. I placed rubber bands forever and then I went outside to test it out on my broken hoop. Yeah, it was hard to play with, but it bounced really high. Here's it next to a basketball. Yeah. After that, I went back inside to finish off the pile and then I dumped out another two bags and started placing rubber bands for what felt like an eternity. And I was finally down to the last bag. I put them all on and I was done. And it's pretty big, but it's gonna take like a million likes for me to keep going. <laughs> Part four of making a rubber band ball. So this watermelon exploded and left us with this water rubber bands and I've been adding a lot of rubber bands to it. And I said it would take 1 million likes for me to keep going and it got 4 million. So I went to Walmart, got more rubber bands and then left, went home, set them down and opened them up. And then the next day I got on that rubber band grind, placing the entire pile on the ball. And when I was done, I left and came back again later to place another bag on. And once I finished that ball, it was pretty big like the size of my head. I weighed it and it weighed five pounds. And it also bounced pretty high and made a decent basketball for my broken hoop. And after that, my brother wanted to play some bands, so I let him, but he gave up and I ended up having to finish his pile off. And after that, I only had one more big pile left, so I dumped it all out and started placing them. I finished it up and then started on the bag of thicker rubber bands. And now I'm out. This sucked a lot, and since the last post got like 4 million likes, it's going to take like 5 million likes now for me to keep going. So one day I decided to see how much a pawn shop would give me for my rubber band ball. So I got in my car and drove out to one, but it was closed for another 30 minutes. So I waited, ate a burrito, and then went back in and said, I got this rubber band ball okay. that I want to sell for $200. Why do you think it's worth $200? I put a lot of time into it. It's a lot of rubber bands. How many rubber bands are in there? Like... 14 bags. How many is in a bag? I have no idea. But it weighs six and a half pounds. Wow, well, there's a bounce. Wow, well, this is pretty good. Well, how old are you? 16. Yeah, you gotta be 18 before you can do anything with And you. then he said he'd give me $100 for it if I counted all the rubber bands and had someone 18 sell it for me. So I thought about it and said... 200. No, I can't go 200 on it, but that'd be worth just watching you count that many rubber bands for 100 bucks. 500. <laughs> I couldn't get 500 bucks out of a rubber ball. How much do you think you could sell this for? 50 bucks. I'm gonna have to walk. All right. Appreciate you coming in. So then I walked out with my rubber band ball, and I guess I'm just going to have to keep adding bands. Part 7 of making a rubber band ball. So I've been making this ball, and it's pretty giant now and weighs 10 pounds. But I wanted it bigger, so I went to Walmart, got a bunch of colored rubber bands, then went home, dumped them out, put my gloves on, and first finished off the pile of normal rubber bands that was already on the table. And once I was done with that, I dumped out all the bags of colored rubber bands and began placing them. 
I did this for quite a while and the ball was finished and it was huge. And it now weighs 11.9 pounds and is almost the size of a basketball. And it also bounces pretty high. And I also shot it in the hoop. <laughs> and now I'm officially finished with it. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> So one day I decided to take my 12.9 pound rubber band ball and see how high it would bounce off a building. But first in the street and then in the hoop. And then I got a ladder and climbed up to the roof of my house with the ball to throw it off. I threw it off and it bounced pretty high and went into the yard. And then I tried to go up even higher to throw it off and just dropped the ball and almost took out my brother. And then I went down so I didn't fall off. I put the ball in my car and took it to a parking garage to throw it off that. I walked up there and tossed the ball off. Yeah, it bounced pretty high. And then I went back up all cinematic with the ball, ran around, and then I fell. <laughs> but I got back up, Your took my ball to the edge, and bounced it off. And then celebrated. Full vid will be on my YouTube. Rubber band ball part nine. So a lot of people don't know that it started when this watermelon exploded and left me with this water rubber bands. And ever since then, I've just been adding on to it. And this is the entire compilation up until now. And I needed more colored rubber bands, so I went to Walmart, but they were out. So I got gas and went to a different Walmart. But they were out too, so I went to another one, and they finally had some. Then I went home, dumped out a bag, and then got busy placing the entire pile of rubber bands until I was done. And then I left and came back later. I dumped out the colored rubber bands and placed that entire pile. Then I found some more rubber bands in the floor, placed those, and then placed a bag of thicker rubber bands that I also found in the floor. And I was done. It now weighs 14.7 pounds, is the size of my head, and bounces pretty high. And it's also bigger than a basketball, like if you want me to keep going. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball, and people seem to never want me to stop, so I went to Walmart, got a bunch more rubber bands, and then went home to start placing them. I dumped out the little bags first, and began placing all of those until I was done. Which took a while. <laughs> Then I left and came back later to place all of the colored rubber bands, which took even longer, but now it looks pretty. I left again and came back to place the last bag of thicker rubber bands, and it was finally done. And it now weighs 17.5 pounds, is bigger than my head, and is pretty hard to catch when you bounce it. And now it's noticeably bigger than a basketball, like if you want me to continue this ball. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball, and it's getting pretty huge, and I'm probably not stopping. So I went to Walmart, got all the colored rubber bands they had, then went home, dumped out the bag of normal rubber bands, and placed that entire pile, which was kind of hard because of how big the rubber band ball is now. Then I took a couple days off and came back to place all eight bags of colored rubber bands, which took a while, a long while. But eventually I finished, and it's huge now. It weighs 21.6 pounds and is a lot harder to throw and catch than it used to be and almost impossible to make a basket with, like if you want me to keep going. So one day I wanted to see what all I could destroy from dropping my band ball up high. So I went to Walmart, got a chair, a Hot Wheel, a lot of Diet Coke, a container, and a watermelon. Then I went home, set up a ladder, and dropped the Diet Coke, and it did nothing. So I threw it and then I dropped the band ball in another bottle. And when that failed, I shook it up and did it again. And it worked. And then my brother threw me one that I dropped. And after that, I decided to crush the Hot Wheel, and it held up pretty well. And then I dropped the 21-pound ball on the bin, and it did the most damage so far. But not enough. <laughs> and after that was this tiny chair thing that got kind of broken, and I fell. Next, we dropped it on a water gun, and a piece came up. Then I shook the rest of the Diet Coke up and knocked them over, and then threw them all, one by one. And lastly was the watermelon, and it got crushed, and I even ate some. <laughs> So one day I decided to take my rubber band ball and a bunch of other random stuff to a pawn shop like I did before when my rubber band ball was a lot smaller. But now it's bigger and I'm back. Oh yeah, that yeah, was a rubber ball. Oh, it's bigger. How many bands is it now? I, I don't know. I brought some more items too. I made this in junior high, a one of a kind CO2 card. Did you win? No. Oh, it's a loser card. He then looked at it and didn't want to buy it. So I showed him this. this. Is a can of air. It's about empty though. Well, I used it a little bit. You know? And I said it was worth. $50? And he said no, so I showed him the next item. I found this at an abandoned race car track. A genuine gold cup. Then he asked why I thought it was gold. It looks gold. And he even tested it and found out it was stainless steel, so I brought out the rubber band ball. It's probably the most famous rubber band ball you'll ever see. It's intrinsic value, probably $5,000. How'd you come up with that value? I just did. He didn't want to buy it, but he gave me the good idea this to put it on eBay. Like eBay? It's a neat idea. I might do that. So then I left. Let me know if you think I should put it on eBay. 
So I've been making this rubber band ball for way longer than I thought I'd be, and I'm just gonna keep going. So I went to Walmart, and they were out of rubber bands, so I left and came back a few days later, and they had some. I went home, dumped them all out into a pile, and started placing them. And it's honestly just so satisfying to watch the pile go down. And when I was done, I left and came back later with a new bag that I ordered on Amazon. And the band seemed good, so I placed the entire pile until I was done. And it now weighs 23.6 pounds, is way bigger than my head, and it's really hard to throw, and even harder to make a basket with. But I made one. Like if I should keep going. <laughs> so one day I got this comment that said to throw my rubber band ball off a hill, so I put it in my car and drove on out to a hill. I got out and carried it on up the hill, which was hard because it weighs 30 pounds, and I got to the top and threw it off. And it bounced and bounced and then started rolling, and it started bouncing again towards the bottom and went on out into the parking lot and just kept on going. And eventually I had to chase after it and jump over a fence, and I had it. And then we went back up the hill to try it again from this angle. And it went on down pretty steady, and then it looked like it was going to hit my car. And I got kind of nervous, so I started to chase after it. But it barely missed it and just went on out into the field. So I've been making this giant rubber band ball for quite a while now, and I'm out of rubber bands, so I went to Walmart, and they had so many colored rubber bands. I got them and then went back to carry even more and then left. I went home and started with this pack I ordered, and I placed the entire pile. And done. And then I took a break and came back later with all the colored rubber bands. I dumped them all out into a pile, which was a lot, and got busy placing them for what felt like an eternity, because this is probably the biggest pile I've ever placed. And it's huge. It now weighs 30 pounds, is way bigger than my head, is pretty hard to throw, and almost impossible to make a basket with, and I can even stand on it. Like if you think I should keep going. So I'm now on part 21 of this rubber band ball, and no one ever seems to want me to stop, so I went to Walmart and bought all the colored rubber bands they had. Then I went home and started out with the bag I ordered on Amazon, and I placed that entire pile. And then I took a break, as usual, and came back to place all the colored rubber bands. And I dumped them all out into a pile, and then placed it all, which took quite a while, but I finished, and it now weighs 45 pounds. Could probably take me out, and I broke my already broken basketball goal with it. <laughs> but hey, I can stand on it, and I like if you want me to keep going. So it's now to part 24 of making this rubber band ball, and I went to Walmart and got more colored rubber bands. I got a bunch, and then went home, and started out with this new pack I ordered on Amazon. They're pretty cool and more stretchy than the normal colored rubber bands. I placed that entire pile and then took a break and came back to place all these other colored rubber bands. I dumped them out into a pile and then placed the entire thing until I was done. And I also ordered this little rubber band ball just for fun to look at and stuff. The big one now weighs 55 pounds and is pretty hard to get down the stairs. And compared to the little one, they bounce similar, but I can stand on this one and not on this one. And I can toss this one, but not this one. Like if you want me to keep on going. So I'm now to part 25 of this giant rubber band ball and everyone just wants more and more and more. So I ordered these new rubber bands on Amazon and they were way too small. So I got sad and then I went to Walmart and bought a bunch of colored rubber bands and then went home. Then I, you know, dumped them out into a pile and started placing them, which took longer than usual for some reason. But I finished, then took a break and came back later to place these other colored rubber bands I ordered. I placed that entire pile, and the ball kind of looks like Spider-Man now, and weighs 57 pounds. I took it downstairs and outside, then threw it, and sat on it, and it's also way bigger than my head, and I can stand on it. So, like, if you want me to keep going. So one day, someone commented to drop my rubber band ball from somewhere high, and I don't live anywhere where I can really do that, because it weighs 65 pounds and could hurt someone. So I took it to this abandoned race car track, took it to the second story, and dropped it. And it bounced, and then just rolled into the ground, and I was like, I gotta do something else. So I went down to this pipe, and I'm like, can I put it in there? So I looked, and it just gradually got smaller, so my ball would've got stuck. Glad I didn't do that. But I just ended up throwing it off and it bounced off into the fence. And it got this mark on it. Oh well, let me know what else I should do with my rubber band ball. So one day someone commented for me to drop my rubber band ball in glass. So I went to Walmart and bought a bunch of different glass items. Then went home, laid out a tarp, and started with this glass vase. I set it down, then got the rubber band ball and threw it on it. And here's the slow-mo. It completely shattered and tore rubber bands off my rubber band ball. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that much, so I got this more solid piece of glass, laid it down, and crushed it. And here's that slow-mo. It was obliterated as well, and knocked a bunch more bands off. My ball is pretty mutilated. I washed some of the glass off, and there was a glass piece stuck in it. Comment what else I should try. 
So one day someone commented that I should cover my rubber band ball in Flex Seal, and seeing as I broke it and it needed a little bit of fixing because there's glass shards on it, I thought, why not? So I rolled it out to my yard and started spraying it. I sprayed all around it until it was done. Actually, I gave it a little bit more and then let it sit. And the next day I came back and it had rained, but it was still solid compared to the side that wasn't Flex Seal. I picked it up and took it out to the cold sack and it bounced the same and was just kind of stale. I rolled it into the basketball goal, boom. Then stood on it and let me know what else I should do. So it's now to part 28 of making this giant rubber band ball and I ordered more rubber bands. I dumped them out and placed them. And when I was finished with that, I got out these garbage bag rubber bands that I ordered that are also pretty colorful. And then I placed another pile of those ones. <laughs> and it now weighs 68 pounds. I took it downstairs out to the yard into the cul-de-sac and look at it next to a basketball. Ordinary basketball and hoop. Rubber band ball and hoop. <laughs> tossing basketball, tossing band ball. <laughs> but I can stand on this one. Like if you want me to keep on going. So one day I decided to take my giant 70 pound rubber band ball to an abandoned water park to throw it down a giant water slide. I walked around trying to figure out where the slide dropped off and figured out it dropped off right over there. So I went down there and make sure it was retrievable and it seemed doable. So I got the rubber band ball, took it up a bunch of stairs, and it was ready to go. On down this old abandoned slide. <laughs> but first I wanted to try out this little one. So my brother went down there to film and I threw the ball. And it went pretty fast, so I kind of lost track, but it went all the way down and out. My brother picked it up, and then I was ready to send the big one down. And I pushed it off, and it went down pretty hard and was making a lot of noise. It went around the curve, and then I could see it going through the tunnels. It was going really fast and started making even more noise, so some people started yelling. But despite that, the ball prevailed on and went all the way out. And here's my brother's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. And then I lugged my rubber band ball home. So one day someone come in for me to try to trade my rubber band ball with the pawn shop again. So I put it in my car, and this would be my third time going. I walked in and said, I'm back. Hey, what's happening, Dylan? I actually have this new ball. I showed him my new aluminum foil ball first, and he said, it's pretty neat. You're from getting an alien invasion. I was thinking this thing is, uh, started it, so it's probably not going to be worth a ton. 300 bucks. And he kind of looked at me like I was crazy, and then asked how many rolls of aluminum foil were in it. So I told him six, and then he asked how much weight, and I didn't know. So I had him weigh it, and it wouldn't register. What's it and he passed, so I threw it down and got the rubber band ball. Almost 80 pounds, and is the most famous rubber band ball in the world, probably, maybe. That's massive. He picked it up and then asked how much I'd sell it to him for. And I thought for a second and then highballed him at 25 grand. A thousand? Wow. And he said his shop could probably only sell it for. So I knew we had no deal. I had to pass. I got some candy and then went out the door. And the ball almost went in the street. Let me know any other ideas you have. So I'm now all the way to part 33 of this giant rubber band ball, which is insane. And I got another box. I placed this entire pile of rubber bands, which wasn't that bad, and then dumped out all these colored garbage bag rubber bands. I had them in a nice pile and then placed them all one by one until I was out. And it now weighs over 90 pounds. I took it out to the cul-de-sac and tried the best I could to pick it up and throw it. And then I stood on it and this time I actually didn't fall off it. I jumped and here it is next to my head and here it is rolling. Like if you want me to keep on going. So it's now part 35 of my giant rubber band ball and I decided to change up the scenery a little bit. I dumped out a whole box of rubber bands of different kinds. I started by dumping these colored garbage bag rubber bands into a pile and putting these gloves on so I don't hurt my fingers and putting all the rubber bands on and this happened. Right into my eye socket. And it hurt but I kept on going because the rubber band ball wasn't going to make itself. I finished off all these colored ones and then dumped out these purple ones that I ended up not using because they were kind of trash. I got out these ones instead and placed the entire pile. And I was done and exhausted. The ball is almost 100 pounds now and it's a pretty big struggle to get downstairs. Took it out to the street and barely picked it up. Yeah, it's getting pretty hard to throw now so I just sit on it and stand on it. Like if you want me to keep on going to 100. So one day it was snowing outside and I decided I wanted to build a giant snowman and destroy it with my giant 100 pound rubber band ball. So I started with a snowball and it got bigger and bigger bigger until eventually we had our base we cleaned it up a little bit and then i rolled around another snowball until i had the midsection put it on smoothed it out and then put on the head we smoothed out the rest and gave it arms and a chain and turned them into drippy steve the snowman hey icy then i filled up my super powerful water gun with hot tub water and blew a hole in his face and then supercharged his nose off <laughs> and after that i got out the giant rubber band ball picked it up and threw it at his head and he was pretty wrecked here's me pretending i'm a snowman and then the rubber band ball going past and being on him and throwing it at his back but none of it worked so i threw this thing at him and then jumped into him but he was too solid let me know what else i should try so one day someone commented for me to drop my rubber band ball on a microwave so i'm gonna do that i'm also gonna crush this piece of furniture along with a few other things with this giant 100 pound rubber band ball so i got in the ladder and threw it and it did that
I then picked it up and plugged it in to test if it would still turn on, and it did, but the doors broke. Next, I got this jug of water I just filled up with the hose, and it did that. Then this bouncy ball that was way louder in person. And last but not least was this piece of furniture I found in my attic, and it did that. Let me know what else I should crush with my rubber band ball. So after destroying our microwave with my 100 pound rubber band ball, someone left a comment saying to do a phone. But first, I'm going to do this broken TV my neighbor yes, gave me. I put the ball on there and threw it. And it didn't do very much damage, so I just threw it again. And it mainly just bounces on it, so I stepped on it a bunch and then got out a giant snowball that was left over. And that was pretty cool and left me with a snowball. And then I got out the phone. I set it down and threw the ball on it, but it missed. So I threw it again and it cracked it. Look at it. I'm just kidding, this is a fake phone. It's actually smashed now. So one day someone said I should try to go to the pawn shop again, so I'm gonna take my rubber band ball, this chain, and some other stuff. I put the ball in my car and then got my bling on and then went inside the pawn shop and What's said- What's going on? I'm back, got a few more things. Hey, what you got today? Some bling on this wow, side. Wow, that's blingy. First off, I got this tiny rubber band ball. Is this an offspring of that one? Sure, yeah. That one babies? What's up with that? Wanna buy it? I then told him I wanted 50 bucks for it and he said- 50 bucks for $5 worth of rubber bands? Better pass on that one. So I then threw it and got out my genuine gold watch. Watch. And he didn't seem to think it was gold. He got screwed. Walmart, what a rip off. They did that to a lot of people. Probably explained why it was like 10 bucks. And after that, I got out my chain and said it was probably this worth. Gold's probably worth about 30k. He looked at me like I was crazy and then weighed it. 90 grams. Is that a lot? No. Oh. And he ended up passing on the chain, so I got out the rubber band ball. There was 80 pounds last time I brought it in, and now over 100. You're a lot stronger. Than you look. It would take a lot for me to let this thing go. What's your best offer? You got 50 bucks for it. And I knew I couldn't do it. So I threw the ball down and headed out, knowing I'll probably never sell it. So I'm to part 39 of this giant rubber band ball, and I can't find any other type of rubber bands except these ones to place on it. So let me know if you have any other options, but for now, I'm going to keep on placing these. And I placed the entire pile of color rubber bands until I was all out. And then I took the ball outside to mess around with it, and it was snowing, so I just laid on the ball and caught the snow. And I can't even lift it over my head anymore because it weighs like 110 pounds. And then here's me breaking a basketball goal with it. And here it is next to a basketball, and then me standing on it and let me know if I should keep on doing this. So one day I decided to turn my giant 110 pound rubber band ball into a wrecking ball using my backyard zip line. But first I pushed it onto the storm shelter and ran it off and then started tying it up. I put it on a ladder and got it hooked to the zip line and then I tested it out and it was pretty cool looking. And now it was time to wreck some stuff starting with this broken piece of furniture. And then I turned it to its side and it absolutely destroyed it. The drawer was broken and I thought it was good for one more hit. And it was obliterated. And then I decided to do this trash can. Yeah, let me know what else I should destroy. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like. And if you want to keep up with my TikToks on my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe and watch some of my other YouTube videos.